guys, it is me Stace and I'm back again today with another Cricut Explore video. We are also doing our Making Up Monday project and today we're making this really cute 3D strawberry basket. Isn't that fun and super easy? All right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. All right, at the computer you want to go to design.cricut.com. You will see this screen. Enter in your email and your password. Click on sign in. When you see your name at the very top, that verifies that you were logged in. On this screen, you want to scroll down until you get to Cricut Access. Click on View All. In the search box in the upper right hand corner, type in Strawberry. Click on Enter. And the project we are making is the Strawberry Treat Box. I'm going to click on that. It'll bring up the preview window. Click on Customize. And we'll see we have the box come up as well as all the strawberries. Right, so we have the box here, the strawberries here, and then we have these plain strawberries. I'm not using those, so I'm going to take my left mouse button across all those pieces and click on the X to delete them. Now I just have the box and the six strawberries. Upper right hand corner, click on make it. it takes three mats, you'll need a 12 by 12 for the basket, a small piece of green, and then a 12 by 12 of red. I'm going to click on continue. I'm going to cut these out with the table and put our basket together. All right, now we are back. We have all of our pieces cut out, and this does make six strawberries. I did go ahead and assemble four of them. We're going to take our little basket, finger press on the score marks. One more to go. All right, now we have that top piece. Take your bone folder, increase that top piece down really good. I'm not doing the bottom one, this way it gives our basket a little bit more depth to it. All right, we have this little flap. We're going to go ahead and push that down in the opposite direction. If you want to, you can add a little dash marks, you can ink it. All right, go ahead and open up all your little flaps to take your glue. I'm using art glitter glue. I put glue on the flap. You don't need a whole lot, just to hold that flap down. Okay, and work your way around all four flaps. Last one here. And now we're going to take those little flaps we have on the side, put glue on those, and then bring that to the, to the other side. And just give it a punch, let it grab, and work your way around on all the little flaps, put glue on them. It actually goes together pretty easy, this project. I think it's super cute. I just love the basket. That was Miss Hardy that came in. It's fixing her rain. You can always tell when it's in her rain because she comes in and lays under my desk. She's literally on my feet. All right, so the basket is just about done. All right, we're going to set that aside, and we're going to work with our strawberries. Now, the first thing I did once I cut them out is I ran them through my Big Shot using this dot folder. You probably can't see it that well, but hopefully you can see here the pattern there. And again, we're going to finger press all the score marks. And you can, of course, make more if you want to. Really fill the basket up. And I'm going to take some glue on that little flap and bring that over. Just give it a squish. And our last one. All 
Now you can either do this step either before you fold the strawberry or after. We're going to take our bone folder and take the petals and kind of just curl them inward a little bit. It does help the strawberry go together a little bit easier. Okay, so there's that one done. And then we have that one. Let's we'll take our two green pieces. Do the same. Just take your bone folder. All right, let's put our pin back in our glue. And now we're going to assemble the strawberry. So I'm going to take some twine. This is a paper tray ink linen thread, I think is what it's called. I'm not quite sure. All right, now all you need to do. If you want to, you can fill these up with little treats. You can put like little Hershey Kisses in them. Just going to go in one of the holes and just work your way around. In one, out the other. So I'm going to go in this way. And go in this way. Last one. Okay, that's fine off. Okay, so now we have what looks like that. Okay, what I want to do is take my two pieces of string and tie them. And as I go down, you can see it kind of closes up the strawberry. And I kind of tie them tight and I do double knot it. Okay, now we're going to take our two strings, our two pieces, and thread those through the leaf. Again, bring the leaf down. I'm going to double knot it, or make a first knot nice and tight, and then we'll double knot it again. Okay, just cut off all the extra string you have. And now we have your really cute strawberry. All right, let's do this one. Again, take some string. You don't need a whole lot of string. All right, so we're gonna go in through one of the holes, then go out the next one, and the next one, just basically weaving your way around the strawberry. one, and then, and that one, okay, take your two ends, and you're going to tie it, and as you tie it and bring it tighter, it brings the strawberry together, and again, you would fill that with treats if you want to, prior to tying it. Okay, now I'm going to double knot it, or knot it once, and then go back over it. Okay, and now we have our two strings again. I'm going to cut the end off that one again. And bring these through the leaf. Tie this into a knot. Now I like to double knot it. And then pull the string up, give it a pinch, and then just snip it to the ends. Isn't that really cute. Now you can fill the basket with any kind of greenery. I have mine over here, just filled with raffia. I just took a big old glob of it and kind of crumped it up a little bit. And just threw the strawberries in there. So it makes six. The basket with the six with the strawberries, but you can again add more. But isn't that fun? Super easy. Not really uh, that time consuming. All right, guys, there you have it. Our Make It On Monday project. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.